Hi, my name is Sean and this is Tech Explained. So, what is Ethereum? What is the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum? Should you buy Ethereum? Well, here I am to help you answer these questions. So, Ethereum is a blockchain platform with its own cryptocurrency called Ether, ETH, or Ethereum, and its own programming language called Solidity. It was created by Vitaly Buterin in 2015, and in simple language, Ethereum was designed to run apps that are not controlled by one single person or company. These apps are meant to operate within the Ethereum blockchain platform. Think of it like the Apple App Store, except no single person controls or owns it. But what is the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum? Now, both Bitcoin and Ethereum are actually called cryptocurrencies because they are both forms of currency that store individual coin ownership in a computerized database using strong cryptography. Now, cryptography is the method of encoding and decoding data. So, for a cryptocurrency, cryptography is actually used to secure transactions, participants, protect from double spending, and ensure proper decentralization of operations. To learn more about cryptography and decentralization, check out my video on Bitcoin after you finish this one. So, Bitcoin and Ethereum are both cryptocurrencies that use decentralized operations because they are not issued or regulated by central authority. They both also store their data in a record of transactions that is not located in one single place. That's called the distributed ledger. So now let's get down to differences. Bitcoin was launched in 2009 and it was meant to be an online currency and secured and managed without any central authority. In contrast, Ethereum is about half a decade younger, having been launched in 2015. Rather than being an online currency, Ethereum is designed to actually deploy small blocks of code called smart contracts, as well as run decentralized applications that could be run without downtime, fraud, oversight, or interference from government third parties. So the underlying purpose between Bitcoin and Ethereum is already very different. While Bitcoin was meant to act as a currency, the original purpose of Ethereum was to run applications like smart contracts, although users later discovered that Ether in Ethereum could be used as currency. So to get more specific, Bitcoin and Ethereum could also differ in three technical ways. First, the data in Bitcoin networks are only there to capture notes about the financial transactions. In contrast, Ethereum code contains executable code, which means that it can be used to run other applications and programs. Second, Bitcoin is predominantly written in C++, while Ethereum has its own development language called Solidity. By having its own language, Ethereum's Solidity program has other engineers building their own distributed decentralized apps, also called dApps. Now the third and final key difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin is that Ethereum has something called a gas price. Think of it in the literal fuel, gas. Only everything has a cost or fee for making a transaction in Ethereum. Like gas in the real world, the price isn't fixed. This gas price is used by the EVM Ethereum Virtual Machine to compensate miners who use their computational power, like their hardware or their laptops churning away, to process and validate your transactions. So specifically, gas is used to attach a transaction to an Ethereum block. The actual process of attaching the transaction to the block requires a miner to validate some smart contract which is what the miner charges for. So you can think of the gas as the miner's fee that motivates miners to participate in the Ethereum ecosystem. Of course, a lot will change in the next few months as Ethereum 2 rolls out. So check out my channel in a few months and we'll cover this new upcoming Ethereum development. Now to our last question, should you invest in Ethereum, Bitcoin, or both? Now, while I'm not allowed to give you specific financial advice, I can teach you about the systems behind them, which I hope I have done. And the raw numbers might tell you that today, Bitcoin is around $50,000, while Ethereum is near about $4,000 in the beginning of September 2021. Since they began to be, be traded publicly, Ethereum's price has grown by 32,000%, while Bitcoin's price has grown by about 15,000%. Do you think that the prices will continue to grow? Absolutely no one can tell you. While Bitcoin and Ethereum are in demand, the price is also likely to continue growing. Nevertheless, as volatile platforms, you should err on the side of caution because other factors could actually cause these currencies to either plateau or swing back down. So if you want to invest, it's all up to you and whether or not you have a tolerance for risk as well as your preferred investment strategy. 
In summary, Ethereum and Bitcoin are common in the sense that they both use a blockchain and both rely on cryptography to ensure secure transactions. However, they also differ in their actual intended use cases. Because while Bitcoin was meant to be an alternate monetary currency that could not be centralized, Ethereum was designed to run decentralized apps in its own platform. My name is Sean Batir and this is Tech Explained, a video series where I explain difficult things around us using simple and understandable language.